There once was a man with a dream so deep within him that he breathed it, he spoke it, and he lived it. And one day a blindfold was placed over his eyes and he was led to a massive tree. When he took his blindfold off, he stood face to face with unexpected instructions. The first man to cut down their tree will be given their dream. This man would develop a strategy. He would eye one spot and repeatedly strike that same spot with his axe. He would never miss his mark. He would be meticulous and little by little, chunks came out and progress was made. But as time went on, his hands became bloodied. They were split open, blistered. He was in pain, he was tired. But in the distance, he could hear that his competitor was still swinging. He looked at the damage of his own tree and it seemed to be so little, but the sounds of his competitor seemed as motivated as ever. He would rest and he could hear his competitor's ax swinging. When he stopped to sharpen his ax, his competitor was swinging. Even when he took a moment to catch his breath, he could hear his competitor in the distance, strike after strike against the tree. And for hours this continued until the man heard the worst sound of his life. The sound of a tree, his dream, came smashing to the ground in the distance. He had lost. And as he drew near to the fallen tree, he saw his competitor for the first time. He was no bigger than he was. He was no stronger than he was. And as expected, he was completely exhausted, completely drained. His hands were bloody. There were dried tears and dirt on his face. But what he saw next caused his stomach to drop. The champion reached up to his face and removed his blindfold. The man was stunned. He demanded that the champion explain himself, why are you wearing a blindfold? And the champion began to explain that the more he saw his results, the more he would lose hope. But when he put the blindfold back on, when he could no longer see the chunks, the chips, and the dents he made, his faith only grew stronger. Every swing, he just knew he had to be getting closer. And when his body wanted to stop, he couldn't stop because his gut told him that the tree was going to fall at any moment. Listen, don't get this wrong. You've heard it said that you need to want to succeed as badly as you need to breathe, and that is amazing imagery. But as the man learned when chopping away at the tree, the secret to success isn't just who wants it more. Don't be fooled. Success is not just taking it one step at a time. It is not just brick by brick. And success is not like chopping down a tree one chop at a time. It's doing it blindfold. Listen. You don't always have the luxury to see results. You don't always have the opportunity to see the dents, the chips, and the chunks coming out of your tree. So often, all you can do is swing and hope and believe. If you want to succeed, then you must choose to be blind. You need to understand this. Choosing to be blind is a decision to not have to see, to not even desire to see, and to be able to completely ignore the results while you're in the fight. That is faith. It's making a choice to become blind. It's a choice to remain in the darkness, to be comfortable with the unknown and focus on the process. A person with sight might become afraid of the dark. A person with sight might grow discouraged when dark times come but a blind man never wavers when darkness comes upon him. Neither the light nor the darkness can impact his state of mind. Those who fight and scrape to see during their struggles will never have the energy or the focus they need to succeed. They'll never swing long enough for their tree to fall. Any person who can see can see with their eyes, but the great ones forfeit their eyes and see with their mind. 
the great ones make the choice to be blind for life.